Hi, my name is David Slemon. I formerly professional rugby player for Oral, uh, Harlequins, Connacht, and now semi professionally at Isha uh, for the last four seasons. Um, fifth now, actually, um, although I haven't played this year. Um, from being full time and going into semi professional rugby, I then had a job for uh, Top Mark Sports for two and a half years as a sales manager. Uh, that was a kit distribution for rugby techs, the likes of schools, um, universities, and clubs. First job, good sales job, probably a good way to start. And then the last 18 months, um, the job that I'm doing now is as a headhunter in the energy sector, which was um, ultimately what I wanted to do. It did take me a while uh, to realise that, but uh, I'm here now. So I would say in terms of my um, rugby skills and what I've learned uh, from my life in playing rugby and how it relates to um, my business culture, uh, socially, um, I'm a headhunter, I'm on the phone all day, I'm meeting people regularly and there is definite uh, confidence that I would have gained from uh, playing rugby, from ha having to uh, speak to a group of players uh, about tactics and that sort of thing. Um, it does mean that you empathise reasonably well with other people as you're constantly interacting, it's a team sport uh, and you have to bring that um, to every training session, you, know, you cannot do things on your own on a rugby field. Um, in terms of my business, you have to be relatively resilient. Um, headhunting or recruitment can be fairly tough, uh, and you know you will constantly get rejected from candidates or from clients. So you just have to keep going, and I think uh, that would be the same with sport. Um, you know you will lose, you will have tough uh, training sessions and games, and you'll get injured. And you've just got to fight back from that. Um, I think also players, um, I don't know, maybe just at the top level, but also uh, below, um, they don't need to be given too much praise. They just um, get on with it and are happy to. To know that they're happy with what they've done themselves and I think that's important within business if you um, need praise all the time um, you're probably not going to get it um, so that's a, an important crossover as well.